What's going on you guys? I apologize for using the terrible webcam that I have that I keep on saying I'm gonna upgrade and then I never do because I can never find one that works on my PC, but um, my phone's acting up so that's why I'm not using that camera. But I wanted to update all of you on my health. If you did not see my community post, uh, I mentioned how I think I experienced a heart attack. And um, after trying to figure everything out, I'm pretty sure what I experienced, uh, what's today? Saturday, so it would have been Thursday. I'm pretty sure what I experienced was uh, a small to mild heart attack. Um, I'm working with my team of doctors trying to figure out what happened. Um, to give you a quick rundown of what happened, um, I'm working a part-time job at a pharmacy. I'm a certified pharmacy technician, for those of you who don't know. Um, and so I went in at one o'clock in the afternoon, like I normally do. I was feeling nauseous from about 1 to 3 p.m. and I thought maybe it was because I had been driving around with my dad getting some errands done around town before I went into work and I thought well maybe since he's driving I sometimes get car sick as a passenger um, and that maybe something contributed to that. I was feeling a little bit nauseous and my uh, lip had also been shipped so I had a little bit of blood um, so I thought well I got a little bit of blood down my mouth. Um, so maybe tasting my blood maybe a little made me a little bit nauseous. Um, so I, like I got like a pack of crackers and like I tried to put it on my stomach to see if it made me feel better. And then 3:20 p.m. like on the dot, my body just collapsed and I don't know what happened. Um, I was experiencing small amounts of chest pains, couldn't catch my breath, nausea, dry heaving. Um, I couldn't stand. Uh, I went into the family restroom at the pharmacy that I work at. Um, I couldn't stand. I was literally on the floor, practically in a fetal position. I couldn't get up. Um, I was literally on my hands and knees, crawling in the bathroom to, you know, get sick in the bathroom. Um, it was the scariest moment of my life, if I'm being honest. I've never, in my 27 years of living, I've never felt this sick before in my life. Um, I've never felt anything like this before. Um, I think the only other time I can think where I felt something remotely close to this was when I got my two COVID shots um, and something must have activated the tumors in my brain or something like that. Um, my entire right side of my body went uh, numb. I couldn't feel my body. My hands were shaking. My hands were also shaking when I felt this sudden sickness out of nowhere. Um, and it wasn't a panic attack. Uh, wasn't anything like that. This was something totally, totally different. Uh, even my boss was asking me like, are you having a panic attack or something? This was something totally different. I almost had my boss call 911. Um, was definitely the scariest moment, I think, that I can really think of in my entire life. I'm doing all that I can to get better. I'm working with my team of doctors to figure this out um, and just doing what I can. Uh, no matter what, no matter how sick your boy is though, we were still able to get some Age of Overlord packs. And uh, and if you didn't see my community post on that, we, we pulled pretty decently. I didn't pull a little knight, but I pulled some Horus stuff. Um, so, you know, we gotta, we gotta stick to that as best we can. But I wanna thank each and every one of you for all of the love and support. Um, if anyone else from the Yu-Gi-Oh! community who's on YouTube happens to see this video, I just ask that, you know, you help spread awareness of this. You know, I've been diagnosed with Von Hippelindau disease when I was 22 years old. It's a rare type of cancer. Help spread the word. You know, I, I'm probably, actually, I'm definitely the only Yu-Gi tuber on YouTube who is dealing with a type of cancer and actively making content and doing what I can to put out content for you guys. And so, just spread the word, you know, keep showing love and support on the channel. Kind comments go a long way. Uh, I always joke whenever things like this happen and say, you know, send me your spirit bomb energy. Um, we've been through a lot on this channel between my car getting hit and a fender bender and the person drove away and just so many things, so many things. You know, this type of situation, sometimes my cancer meds making me nauseous to where I just can't make content. But we're on that grind, we're doing what we can, um, but I at least wanted to make a video updating you properly in case you didn't see my community post. I'm doing what I can to get back on that grind. No matter what, I don't care if I'm in a hospital bed, we are going to be having a live stream of an Age of Overlord case opening. 
So be looking forward to that. Be sure you got that ding dong notification bell ringed to on so that you can catch everything on your Amazon blink camera. <laughs> um, but yes, we will be doing a live stream. We'll be doing a case opening. That's going to be a fun time. So be sure that you got the bell ticked so that you can come and watch that. I don't care if I'm in a hospital bed or if I'm half awake, we're going to be doing a live stream of that. So guys, thank you so much for all the support as always. Just keep sharing the love on the channel. Keep sharing the videos. Keep liking. Keep subscribing. I promise you we're going to be getting back to making content as soon as we can. I just, I got to figure out what's going on with my body because I've, I've never experienced something like this. And the only way I can explain it is that my body just collapsed in on itself. That's the only way I can explain it. It had to be a heart attack. It had to be something like that because I've never felt pain like this before. And it wasn't a panic attack. I wasn't anxious about anything. I've experienced panic attacks in the past. I know what that feels like. This was something like a mild heart attack. It had to be. I couldn't catch my breath. I was dry heaving. I was, ugh, ugh. It was, it was bad. So keep spreading the love of the channel. Keep sending me your prayers, positive vibes. Um, just keep showing the love and support. And I'm going to keep on making content for as long as I can. I'm going to keep on doing the best I can because, you know, you matter to me. You know, this is this is like a little side gig that I do. I want to do everything I can to make it the best I can. So, guys, thanks for watching. I love you very much. And I'll speak with you again very, very soon.